truly cannot believe what I'm holding in my hands. Now this has been out for just a couple months or so, but they claim this is the world's first ready to run 18th scale brushless mini crawler. A little surprised at the price point, to be honest with you. I, I know that it's brushless and that's super cool and it does have some really nice aluminum siding on the chassis there. I don't think they took any shortcuts on parts or anything like that. It looked awesome. But this is right about $200. Now, I'd like to hear from you guys in the comments. Do you think that's worth the price? Maybe it is because it's a very high-end RC crawler. Now we did just drive an $80 crawler through our mini course that we have Not here. Ours. Well, that a friend is letting us use. <laughs> <laughs> and it did really well. So I'd like to see, is a $200 crawler going to absolutely stomp an $80 crawler? It's actually $77. So we'll have this linked in the description box below if you wanna check it out for yourself. Well, let's power it on and see how it does on this course. And it's brushless. Let's show everyone the goods, you know? That's a nice little Outrunner motor. Look at that. Sounds so much different than most little crawlers, yeah. doesn't it? Okay. Sounds like I'm at the dentist. Oh boy. <laughs> So the wheelbase sits longer than the little red one that we drove. That's because this is 18th scale and that last one was actually a 24th scale. But when you sit them side by side, they're, they're very close. I like the way it sounds. I really do. And down the hill. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. It's doing a good job. It sounds a lot different. <laughs> kind of crazy, really. Right, other, way. other way, you just dominated the course first try. So I got to give it credit for that. I mean, it really did a good job. Now let's see if it can go in reverse and then I got to give it a shot going around the course. Abby and I both struggled with the other little crawler. We both failed a few times. This one did not fail. Now this is supposed to be the hardest part. It's okay. She's actually staying in the lines. Oh. So you yeah, bottomed up. You have a longer wheelbase here. Oh man. So you either got to hit it with speed and scrape it. Oh, that was terrible. It's okay. You haven't rolled. There. I would say that counts. That counts. She's taking this one seriously now, guys. Very, but you made it. I love Mulch Mountain over here. Really it does. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about with small scale crawlers. If we had a good space, we would make something like this and it would just be a permanent fixture. Abby, you made it. Oh, don't want to jinx it. You made it around both ways without fail. You did not well, roll. Failed. You had to back up. Let's see if I can get it Twice you had to back up. There, okay, I would say that was a huge success. You made it around both ways without even having to reverse. He's gonna have to make a more challenging spot for this one, but the other little crawler. Oh no! Spoke too soon! Oh, well, you made it though. Up. You made it though. Yeah, you're on a stick. Now it's my turn. Pressure's on, Nathaniel. Yeah, this may be, not my name, <laughs> this may be one of the few times you really, uh, really show me up here. Maybe. Lately. So you guys gotta forgive Abby. She's gonna stand through this whole thing because she is old and dying. <laughs> Every day. Back is killing her. Okay. It looks good too. So this one has a couple different body designs. I saw it black yeah. with flames and I think, was it blue with flames? Yes. Yeah. Very cool looking. Cool, kind of like sparkly green. Yeah. I will say I just made it around the course. That was very fast. Wow. Well, rather than... I mean, if we were timed, I think you just demolished my time this my is goodness. performing really well this is all the different types this is of good i can see why the price point is so Look high that. that was awesome you're gonna have to let him try this on yes. the course <laughs> watch out oh One day we'll my have gosh to get him to come out here and drive with I think us think he just did that Dominated. in under 30 seconds my awesome. gosh okay i want to play in the rocks right. i meant to do that in the last video Abby said, I've not had enough of this thing. You, you can know, always tell when I really enjoy something. I give that back. To she you. wants the controller. Yeah. 
Yeah, we have not hit this section yet at all. Now obviously, we got a tunnel down here. Yeah, super cool. Now the pine needles are going to be a little challenging because they're big pine needles. You got it. Keep your speed up and you got it. Okay, let's talk about this. It's really, I think, sticker shock for us because we just drove an $80 crawler, basically the same size. But if you look at main name brand crawlers, they're about 130 or so, 120. So to have a completely upgraded brushless system and to be ready to run at $200, I guess isn't too unreasonable now that I've seen it actually perform around the track. It stomped the thing we just drove. So, yeah. And it's brushless. I wonder what that means for, you know, longevity of this. In a crawler, will a brushless motor outlast a brushed? We see everything go brushless nowadays, except for 10th scale crawlers. A lot of times, pretty much all crawlers come brushed, and they do that for a reason. I'll bet gearing out a brushless motor is just a little bit harder to do in a crawler than it is a basher. I am surprised. Now, I was surprised to see the price of this, but I'm also pleasantly surprised to see the performance of this little brushless 18th scale crawler. If it wasn't brushless, I'm wondering if it would uh, been a significant enough difference or not. But hey, this is what they've done to stand out and be different, and I suppose they had to charge appropriately for that. It'll be linked in the description box below if you guys want to check it out or even buy one for yourself. And know that if you use that link to buy this or anything else on the website, it does help to support our channel and our family at no extra cost to you. I want to say a massive thanks to our friend for letting us get out here and use the course today. It's very nice of him, especially as quickly as he whipped this thing together. It's very cool, so thank you. Also, a massive thanks to the big guy upstairs, God, for blessing us with this beautiful day. The sun is shining, although we're here in the shade of the pine trees, which still this crawler course may need a name, you guys. So let's hear from you in the comments what name you might have for it. But a big thanks to God for letting us share this experience and this opportunity with you guys. Finally, a massive thanks to our Patreon supporters because we couldn't do what we do without your amazing support. If you love little crawlers, or maybe you just want to check out that $80 crawler that we're referring to many times in this video, we'll have a hand-picked video popping up right about now just for you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye!